What is sustainability when combined with design and technology? Let's start with what is sustainability. Sustainability is the goal for humans to be able to coexist on the planet without drawing on its natural resources. For our future generations to be able to exist without causing damage to the planet. How does the earth provide? We all know that the earth provides everything we need to survive. The ability to grow our own food such as plants and animals on the land with a vast supply of water, as well as many other resources that can supply us with energy, medicines and materials for shelter. For your exam, you will need to know how this could look in terms of finite, non-finite resources and the impact of these resources. So how does this link with design and technology? Well, there are so many ways that our resources are being drained and technology is at the heart of the problem and the solution. From the rise of technology and our overconsumed lifestyles that we are leading is greatly impacting the amount of resources. Just take what we use on a daily basis. To name a few, the food that we use is overpackaged. The clothes that we wear only last a season and the electronic devices that we replace for the latest updates. So what is our current state? Well, you may not actually think it's that bad, but if we look at where that piece of packaging or clothing ends up, there are many landfill sites across the world. But how much of our waste actually goes into landfill? Every year, the US landfills are filled with 139.6 million tonnes of waste, including 30.63 million tonnes of food, 26.82 million tonnes of plastic, 18.35 million tonnes of paper and cardboard. So if we look further into plastic, it's already the second largest waste that goes into landfill, being over 26 million tonnes. You may have also heard about the plastic island that floats between California and Hawaii on the Pacific Ocean. It is said to be three times the size of France and is the world's biggest ocean waste repository with 1.8 billion pieces of floating in plastic. If you want more information on this, I have put a link within the description box below for further research. So changes are happening. So it may seem that designers are to blame for this, but it isn't all negative. Designers now have become more conscious when designing products, looking now at the choice of materials, energy consumed when using the product, as well as during its production and how it is disposed of. We'll look further into this topic in our next video when we look at the lifestyle assessment. So it doesn't matter whether this is clothing, packaging or even electrical items, a massive shift has begun through many companies and designers. A good example is for us to focus on the massive amounts of packaging that we receive on a daily basis. If you just think about your fruit and vegetables that come in vast amounts of plastic, the products that you receive in the post that come with huge amounts of packaging. Designers are now having this exciting challenge to push the needs of packaging. Remember, packaging has a need. It needs to protect, it needs to contain, it needs to preserve, and so on. But now they have to be able to use less material and better choices. This can be seen in the link that I've attached for gopeople.com. They have come up with some really creative and clever solutions to this. One of this is poop bags by olivegreendog.com. A bit of a weird product for us to look into, but let's go with it. If we just take a minute and think about how many households have dogs, one, maybe even sometimes more, and think about how much poop those dogs create daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Then think how many poop bags one house will use disposing of this amount of dog poop. That's a lot of poop and a lot of plastic bags. Well, the problem is that originally these bags are made up of plastic that doesn't biodegrade. Biodegrade meaning it will end up in landfill for a very long, long, long time. The concept behind this is pretty simple. They plan to reduce the amount of plastic waste. Olive came up with a 100% biodegradable poop bags that are made from GMO-free cornstarch and vegetable oil. Pet parents wouldn't feel guilty about throwing their dog's poo in the bin because these plastic bags take as little as 40 days to compost. So what did I mean when I said drawing on the plant's resources? So we've already started to look at the different types of materials and actually where they end up. But what else do we need to be aware of? Well, this is easy. We could divide it into two sections, finite and non-finite. Let's look into finite resources. Finite resources are very limited. That means sooner or later they are going to run out. This is because these resources can't keep up with the consumption level that we're using them at. An example of these resources would be metals, plastics and fossil fuels, such as coal, natural gas and oil. 
These materials, as you've seen, are very popular. This is due to the infrastructure that's already been in place for many years. And unfortunately, we rely on this for most of our energy at this very moment in time. So that means non-finite resources are the opposite. So non-finite resources can be replaced and be available in many years to come. Examples of these would be wood, cotton and many different renewable energy sources like solar. Now larger companies are trying to slowly move to creating manufacturing workspaces that run off renewable energy. This is with the intention of them hoping to be able to lower their carbon footprint. Okay, so let's end the video with a question. List as many ways as you can care for the planet. Maybe it's by making better choices in reducing, recycling or simply refusing something. I'd love to know your opinions and answers, so let's put them down in the comment section below. If you found value within this video, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and like button to support my channel's growth and reach many well other needed students and teachers out there. See you in the next video where we focus on the life cycle assessment.